Hey guys, welcome back to our product spotlight series. My name is Brandon Funky. I'm the product manager here at 3DX Tech, and today we're going to be talking about Altem 1010. So what is Altem 1010? Altem 1010 is a polyether image material produced by Sabic. Sabic makes Altem 1010, Altem 985, and countless other materials that we then use to make our filament. Altem 1010 is a high temperature and industrial material that lends itself heavily to aerospace and defense markets, but is also widely used in the medical, automotive, and industrial applications. One of the primary reasons Altem 1010 is used in these top-of-the-line industries is because of its improved temperature and mechanical properties when compared to more commoditized materials. In terms of mechanical properties, Altem 1010 boasts a tensile strength of 56 megapascals, a tensile modulus of 2500 megapascals, a flexural strength of 110 megapascals, and a flexural modulus of 2510 megapascals. It truly shines in high temperature environments with a heat deflection temperature of 208 C, meaning it can survive long-term applications of about 200 degrees C, but that does have to do somewhat with any kind of stress or chemical interactions that are going on in the application. These improved properties allow for some fairly advanced applications to be brought to life through additive manufacturing. For example, aerospace and defense uses this for interior cladding, air ducting, instrument panels, air ducts, and many more. For medical applications, we're seeing this material used in sterilization trays, surgical aids, as well as anything that needs to be steam or gamma sterilized. For manufacturing applications, we see this material used in the part next to me for composite tooling molds. We also see this for end of arm tooling, welding fixtures, as well as plasma shielding. Being a high temperature material, Altem 1010 can be used in a lot of applications, but not every printer can handle this material and it can be quite tricky to get right. Altem 1010 needs a chamber temperature of around 225 C in order to get optimal layer bonding, which will get you your Z-strength as well as limit any warp and shrink. Here at 3DX Tech, we've run several tests to show that printing the material at a lower chamber temperature can get you a part that looks like your part, but your mechanical properties aren't really going to be there. Printing in a fully heated and enclosed chamber of 225C gets you the maximum properties possible. Altem 1010 is also incredibly moisture sensitive. To make sure you get the most repeatable process possible, we dry our Altem at 150C overnight before packaging it up for you. If your Altem gets wet, it won't turn out very well. The nice thing about 3D Tech Altem 1010 is that we supply it to you on a reel that can also withstand the necessary drying temperatures so that you can dry it at home if needed. I hope this brief product spotlight was helpful and gave you enough information to get some projects moving. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can find this material on our website at 3dxtech.com.